want to shift and talk a little bit about the ethical reasons as well for being a vegetarian. I know there's a lot of organizations who are very concerned about the way that animals are treated um, in in the industry to produce uh, meat for the marketplace. And I'm just wondering if you know what your thoughts are uh, on that side of things. Yeah. If, if that's something that is a salient reason for you to be a vegetarian as well. Definitely. Um, definitely. And, and as I said, when I was a child, that was my main motivation for mm -hmm. thinking about it. Even when I was 18, that was a major mm -hmm. uh, motivation for me. Mm -hmm. uh, because the way that these animals are treated, uh, it would make us profoundly uncomfortable if we had to witness it, or worse, if we had to perform or that treatment ourselves. Mm -hmm. you know, we've been indoctrinated into this belief that animals are commodities. Mm -hmm. And by believing that, we feel like that gives us the right to um, dominate them, to abuse them, and to kill them you know, for our pleasure, at our will. Mm. Um, the industry, um, you know, it's a difficult thing to talk about. And every time I read a, read a book that includes it, I end up uh, crying about it because it, it's, it's such a sad thing and I'm, I've always been very connected um, to animals. This, uh, this system is solely financially motivated. And like I said, they, they use the least amount that they can to produce the most. And so the feed that they give the animals, like I said, mm -hmm. it's not natural to them. Mm -hmm. So instead of eating grasses, which, cor which the uh, cows would ordinarily thrive on, mm -hmm. they're fed corn, but not just corn. They're also fed uh, sawdust and cement dust, and they're fed uh, animals that weren't well enough that are rendered. Um, put back into the feed, you know, fatten them up. And so they're not carnivores, but yet they're fed animals as well. Mm. They're kept in such confined spaces. And I think for me, the saddest thing to hear about is the dairy industry because mm -hmm. the cows are kept um, pregnant almost perpetually. You know? mm. And uh, as soon as they give birth, that baby is taken away from them so that we can harvest the milk for ourselves. Mm. And the baby then, of course, is uh, ordinarily or usually um, sent to the veal industry. So there's a, a lot of people who become vegetarian uh, for the animals they don't recognize, and they're still eating dairy, that the dairy industry and the, and the veal industry are intimately linked. Mm. Um, so yes, there's a, there's a lot of cruelty involved in the industry. And I think it's, you know, it's, it's worthwhile to, for people to ask themselves, you know, why, why are these food animals so different to you than the pets that you love? Mm. You know, why is it okay to, to eat some animals and not others? And why is it okay to drink cow's milk but not you know, dog's milk or giraffe's milk? You know, we have this <laughs> very mm. strange way that we're looking at things. Um, and so just, I encourage everybody to, to research it and educate it themselves and, and to take the blinders off because mm -hmm. that's what we've done is we've put blinders on and we've covered our ears so that we don't have to have this dilemma of do I eat tasty food that I like or do I live with my conscience? You know, mm -hmm. instead we can just follow our what we like and, mm -hmm. and not worry about the consequences, but there are mm -hmm. consequences to our actions. Mm -hmm.